up everybody jennifer and i are out here say hi jennifer hi <laughs> we're out here uh in one of our snapper holes we're kind of testing it out for the first of the first of the state snapper season we're not way out we're about five miles out so uh basically what we're doing is we're just fishing a little a little bottom rig with about this is 30 pound test on 40 pound leader i got a three ounce egg sinker on there and we're using cut shrimp I mean, not cut shrimp, we're using cut mullet, and we're also using uh, live shrimp, just dropping it down to see what we get. You know, basically, every cast right now, we're getting you know juvenile snapper, but they are starting to stack up in here, so, uh, you know, it's fun to catch. Uh, you know, you'll peel through a bunch of these, kind of like the trout that we're doing right now, and, uh, and catch a bunch of little ones, and then, you know, you'll get a 15-incher, and then as the season progresses, we'll start getting them bigger and bigger as the water cools off. So basically we're just dropping down we're in about 60 foot of water and uh, we're just dropping it down and uh, as soon as they're kind of starting to nibble it just bring it right up off the bottom but I always use a tail hook or a little bit bigger circle hook uh, this time of year because you get the hooks that are too big right now and uh, they'll just get it'll just come out of their mouth so now it's state snapper season you can keep four of these which is nice especially in the winter time so we're just going to reel this up. I always like shrimp just because they're a little easier to mess with. Not as much dealing with like the cut bait and stuff like that. And again, I just reel it right off the bottom. And you don't need a huge rod. I'm, I'm, I'm fishing with a pin slammer three and a 4500. And this is a, a St. Croix inshore and a 7.6 medium fast. Hey, I'm already hooked up. This is a little guy, you know what I mean? But they're still fun to catch. And again, we're not looking for, we're not looking for these guys. <laughs> we're looking for their mothers, but they'll start getting bigger. And as the water cools down, they'll start getting bigger. Cause those snappers are gonna come, start coming in this way to breed and to get in warmer water. So they're going out they're going out in the summertime because the water's too hot and they're coming in in the winter time because the water's warmer. I still have some bait on because they were hitting it. And we're not in an offshore boat. Yeah, no. And if you get a chance, you know, and you can afford it, get you one of these, you know, Minn Kota Tarobas or something like that that's got the spot lock on it because, you know, now anywhere we go, as soon as we find the fish or as soon as we find the... Uh, That's what you're talking about. Uh, so we find a fish or find a reef, you know, we're just we're just stopping and using GPS just to keep us in that. What do you got this time? I don't know, maybe a little better snapper. Yep. Another snapper. I think he's actually would keep. I'm not gonna keep him today, but so that's actually gonna be pretty close to a keeper. They gotta be 15. But typically the way you know a snapper is a snapper will always try to dive, dive really hard. You'll hear them pop, 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 pop. You'll feel them paddling really hard on your rod. And they'll try to dive back down to the bottom. Now, I'm not even getting this on the bottom before it's already getting torn up. Jennifer bought me a new knife and I cut the crap out of it. So first time I used it because I'm not used to having sharp knives. <laughs> now it's right on the tip of my thumb and I can't hardly do anything. A little bitty, not much more than a paper cut and I'm shut down. Anything I can do to get more sympathy out of Jennifer is what I go for. <laughs> yeah. There were people there catching we reds at the jetties. As soon as it dropped back down. This is a little... Yeah. Whoa! Is that one big enough to keep? Yeah, he's big enough to keep, but we're not gonna keep it. Oh, come on! No, I ain't cleaning no fish today. <laughs> Bye, flounder. Maybe we try to catch one more. Okay. The trap. I'm mad about the flounder. <laughs> I'd have kept the flounder. That's better fish. Ripping a little bit of drag. He kind of quit on me. Psyched me out a little bit. I think that's another keeper. 
flounder? No. I mean, not a flounder. Not a keeper snapper. Yeah. Yeah, they're not super big, but they're they're at the 15 inch mark, so they keep. You told me there were redfish over here. I told you. I know. All these redfish stacked up on the side of one of these islands when we went out to check the jetties. The difference now is in two hours, you see all these grass beds that are up here now. Three, two or three hours ago, this was crystal clear. There was basically, we're kind of at the peak of high tide, almost a little bit of a slack tide. And I could see them shallow in the water. And now all this water is dirtied up because it's pulling out of these flats. Uh, this is South Bay over here, uh, one of my very favorite places to fish in the wintertime. And uh, all this is coming out of the flats now, so those fish are going to kind of pull with that bait as that bait comes out. Uh, they're going to stack up probably, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the water over here, uh, but that little lighter strip of water is one of the little boat cuts that comes in here. And they'll stack up a little closer to that and watch that bait come out. So, I mean, this thing's been sitting there, what, about... 20 seconds and you know caught a 17 18 inch redfish so if you kind of start knowing you know what to look for you'll start picking up more fish See over the top of the over to your left, to your, your other left, <laughs> or coming to the right. Go come. Coming. Don't break my rod. Yeah. Yeah. He's cheaper. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yep, definitely a keeper. Hold him up so I can get a picture of him. Nice. Nice. 